Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Shiko, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So I'm so excited today. I'm gonna be doing this review of this Zara face palette. If you know it, oh my god, I am so excited. It is, I think, one of the best. Zara is one of the best. Uh, Nigerian makeup brands and having this means so much to me. Thank you so much Makeup by Rose for this. So um, my fellow makeup artist, this is a must have in your kit. But before we go there, why don't we do a, a review of it and yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, Shiko Mwaki, comment down below on your thoughts and keep watching. So I actually love their packaging a lot. Uh, as you can see, they have this cover. This one, I will move it so that you can see. This one. To help prevent dust and mini water from, you know, coming in contact with your product. It's so important for a makeup artist because you're dealing with so many faces and people's faces are sensitive to take care of your product, to make sure, you know, germs are not coming there. So with this, you're covered. So the packaging is actually very nice. Apart from that, the first thing I've noticed even before I start like trying it on my face, um, the disadvantage is that the colors, are, the shades are so much similar. Like as you can see, there is no, there is no a dark, like the darkest shade, the one you can use on a really, really dark person. Um, for the powders, they are like all the same shade. They are different, but not that different. Even from camera, I think you can see they are almost the same. Even the foundations, they don't have a wide, a wide range. So it would be good if they improved on that, put a wide variety. Because as a makeup artist, you really like have clients who are different shades. When you have such a palette that doesn't accommodate, that is quite a, quite a disadvantage. Um, I got it at 8,000 shillings from Makeup by Rose in town. She stocks Zara products. And yeah, you can go check out this, get, get yourself this. And yeah, despite the shades being quite similar, um, it's also good because like when this shade of powder ends, um, you can still use the next one, so it's not much, there is no much of a difference. Yeah, the size is perfect. I think it will quite, quite last me a long time. That's what I love about it. Yeah, so let's go straight to the, trying the product on my face. I'm gonna first find my shade, since the, the shade of foundation, since there are quite uh, seven shades. So let's find mine. I'm gonna take the ones that look the closest to my color. That is this one. And this is how you judge for your shape. So that is one, whatever you can see. Yeah. Then this is the next one. I think that is the one. But I'm gonna also try another one. A bit dark, but this one may quite blend it, so I'm gonna use this one. Yeah, this one blends. This, this one, this one is my shade in this palette. It's NZ30. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to use, and I'm going to use this brush, foundation brush. To apply and then after that I'm gonna blend it using my beauty blender so let's see the coverage and the blending ability of it so it actually blends really nicely that's the first observation I have the coverage is good I'm so used to applying liquid foundation. This is a bit of a challenge, but yeah, we're gonna hack it. I 
I think I'm gonna first do this side of my face so that you can be able to see the contrast. It's also a very lightweight foundation. It's very natural. It's not these foundations that you apply and you look like you have a layer on top of your face. So I, I actually really like it. And it's also for mostly for dry skin. No, it's it's a bit oily. So I'm normal. I'm, I'm I have a normal skin type, and I think it's a bit oily for me, as you can see. I'd already primed my face before, by the way. Yeah. So I think it would be perfect for someone with um, normal skin, not dry, normal, normal. If you're oily and you wanna use it. Think, or if you want to use it for your client who has annoying skin, I would recommend you use um, a powder before the foundation. Yeah, so that's how it looks like. Yeah. It's actually so pretty. I love it. I, lo I love the fact that it's so natural. It also has a bit of glow. As you can see. Ahead. And it's exactly my shade, exactly my shade. So I'm gonna be using this quite a lot of times. And also, I've noticed that the coverage is buildable. So, if I want more coverage, I'm actually going with another layer. But um, I actually don't have acne or any blemishes on my face. So I don't really need much coverage. So, this is really nice. So, yeah, I hope you guys can see the difference between the two sides. This is where I've put my foundation. This is where I've not put. So, now let me just go and do the whole face. So as a makeup artist, I think this this would be really really like um, make my work easier. I won't have to carry lots of different foundations the way I normally do with this. I can just carry this, but then I'll have to carry one dark, very dark foundation in case I get a client with dark cutter, and also the light one since it doesn't have like the especially the foundation this, this, these are the foundation of this one it doesn't have like the light wazungu shade so but for african yeah you will thought you and then it's so blendable really i love it i just love it And I've never like had a foundation that matches my skin in this much. And I can if, if I were to compare it to a foundation, I would it would be the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. It, it it's almost the same as that. Even the blending ability, it's the same as the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse foundation, which is also very nice. So yeah. I would give it an 8. If they were to rate it out of 10, I would give it an 8. Yeah. 
So if you are a makeup artist and you're looking for a palette that you can use for your clients, like a palette with many different shades of foundation and powder, yeah, I, I would definitely recommend this. I would definitely. Can you see how? Generally, I can say that the Zara face palette is amazing for all be beginner makeup artists. You should definitely, definitely get that palette. Um, it has a very nice coverage and the powders are matte and you know what it's just amazing so you guys head on head over to makeup by yours at vipak towers get yourself the amazing palette and yeah comment down below on what your thoughts are and any other suggestion of a video you want me to do or a review you want me to try yeah yeah thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe to my channel um, hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video Also give me a thumbs up and comment down below on your thoughts on the video and any suggestion you have of Any review or any particular video you'd want me to do and I'll definitely do it. 